the Nigerian Defense Headquarters, DQ, DHQ, on Thursday, fronted the claim by the governor of Zamfara State, Daudar Lawa, that the military and the police are nowhere to be found whenever they are needed in the fight against terrorists in the state. This is as the governor on Thursday blamed the lingering fight against terrorism, banditry, kidnapping for ransom, and other emerging security threats across the Federation on political interference. Governor Lara Hart, on a television interview on Tuesday, lamented the laid-back attitude of the police and the military in combating the menace of banditry flooding the northwest states. He said the all unspringing attitude of the federal government controlled security agencies was responsible for the creation of the state security outfit, the Community Protection Guard, in January. We, as governors, don't have control over the military. We don't have control over the police as well as the civil defense. In most cases, we get frustrated. The governor said during the TV program monitored by this day. When you need these people, they are nowhere to be found. And the best thing to do is to sit up, to set up that kind of security outfit, the governor added. Reacting during a press briefing in Abuja on text day, the director of defense media operations, Major General Edward Baba, condemned what he described as weight allegations labeled against the armed forces of Nigeria, AFN, by the Zamfara state governor in the TV interview. Edward insisted that the AFN is a professional force that is sovereign, sovereign to political authority, particularly the political leadership of Zamfara state. The military, he said, will not join issues with the governor, rather it chooses the parts of cooperation over conflict with the state governor and looks forward to constructively engaging with him on these matters. According to the DHQ spokesman, the loss of nine military personnel in the month of June was a painful testament of the military's tireless effort, commitment and sacrifice to restoring peace and security in the states. Meanwhile, Governor Lara on Thursday blamed the lingering fight against terrorism on political interference. Lara said, Lawa said this while responding to questions on TV town hall meeting on security monitored by Tuesday. This day, I meant to say. He also posited that the police were doing their best, adding that the reality is that they are not taken care of. We need to restructure because there are issues that need to be clearly defined, he added. According to him, the military and other security agencies have the capacity to take care of these security threats if there is no political interference. It will be no matter. It will be a matter of time, and we should have solved problem of security in the country. When asked to unmask the political attacks interfering on security issues, he told, he who wears the shoe knows where it pains. And that is why I am telling you this. There is so much political interference. These guys should be allowed to do their job. They are professionals. They have the capability and they can do it. So let us allow them to work. Let them allow them to function. On his part, the chief of defense staff, the CDS, General Christopher Musa said, that terrorist supporters and sympathizers fund their activities. He revealed that kidnapping is part of the thing the terrorists and bandits use to raise funds, stressing that internally we have external people 
that equal equally support them on the issues of IPOP. For instance, there is a lot of funding that comes in from our side. Musa said that the military high command are, are repeatedly complained about Simon Ekba, explaining that he is in Finland, he is in Finland, and Finnish government is giving him all the support. He noted that people are being killed because of the comments Ekba is making and nothing is being done. The CDS said it was uh, if the European Union is the one supporting democracy and uh, this is happening and they are not taking action, then they don't mean well for Nigeria. Okay, guys, you've all heard it now. The CDS have said its own part. The, the Nigerian defense headquarters have also said they is their own part. You see, the security situation in Nigeria is really very frustrating. And uh, what uh, the governor of Zafara said was not the first time we've been hearing this, how some inflation people in Nigeria supporting banditry and all that. So today, is, this is not the first time he had said something like this. Now, the CDS is talking about Simon Ekba, the insecurity in the Southeast, you know, bringing him down to Nigeria. Now, do you think that bringing Simon Ekba back down to Nigeria will solve the problem of insecurity in the Southeast? The question is capital no, because... Mazen Namdekano was arrested by Nigerian government. He did not stop the insecurity. He's going to worsen it, just like what is going on right now. These people should understand the reality on ground. Mazen Namdekano should be released, and that will solve the problem in the southeast. Now, talking about in the north, who are those, you know, the... They publish their names one time that they are the sponsors of these bandits in Nigeria. Who are they and where are they? And what is the government doing about it? The only way this issue will be resolved in the north is by you know going after those who are sponsoring the bandits. They are all humans, and all these things will become a thing of the past. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.